Oh, Louis, explain ICT master plan in detail. Uh, basically, it, it's fun. Uh, it consists of. Huh? <laughs> it's very similar to our own Philippine digital strategy, which um, emphasizes connectedness, uh, both physical and um, uh, policy wise. So, uh, one of the big thrusts there is actual connection to the countryside. No? Yeah. Siguro in one word, connectivity. Oh. Yan ang main thrust talaga of the ICT Master Plan, which is 2015. And we are encouraging talaga na magkaroon na tayo ng mga matrix para natin ma for us to be able to uh, ma ano talaga ma attain yung full integration which is the ina talaga ang commitment ng master plan well kuno man eh, we all know that ICT is benefiting the country uh, tremendously uh, interconnecting with our yeah connecting with our ASEAN neighbors will only make will only bring economies of scale not only financially but also socially you know? so uh, working with ASEAN is really important you know? okay let's go to the connectivity dapat kasi example eh, for us to relate to sempre the pinaka sample namin is always project NOAA okay so connectivity means kahit sa tayo sa kuna din nasa hulok ka you will know the real uh, the, the fo uh, weather forecast lang at the minimum Malalaman natin yung inundation map. That is where Project Nova would be ano, going. Eh. Na six hours, at least for the flood-prone areas. Six hours, alam natin yung in what area magkakaroon ng baha, ano kalalim yung baha, and even more important, saan walang baha for us to go. Now, more than that, mga, kanina, more than that is a data, eh, information. Pag malaman natin how flood develops, we would have more information para maghanap tayo ng solution on how to solve the flood. So, yun, okay, let's go to connectivity. Connectivity is being able to deliver information. Connectivity is also being able to embed sensors all over. Importante yun eh. To embed sensors, tapos data information from the sensor ay makakatransmit to a data processing center and the results can be retransmitted para ma-inform naman natin public. Start pa lang yun. Napakaraming enabling or transformational potential ang connectivity. Uh, we cannot really under, ano, na, the, the possibilities are almost endless. Always kasi ang ICT, we start with infrastructure pinaka-importante dito, pinaka-critical is connectivity. After that, nagpo-focus na tayo sa application and utilization. So we are, we are really shifting from just information to more decision maker, to more tools. Of course. Yes. The, the government is committed. Kasi improve efficiency ito eh. Improve, uh, it's not only government. But the people will have will improve productive improve efficient productivity talaga yan. So it's really cost effective. And it's the way to go. We have to compete with other uh, ASEAN. 2015 is also the year where in open ang ASEAN. Uh, we have to be as efficient, we have to be as productive or more than our neighbors kundi maano tayo. So what's the status of the Philippines in terms of achieving the plan? Ano po yung status ng Pilipinas? Ah. First and foremost. Well, we're Pwede ba yung Metro Manila? What? Metro Manila? Yeah. Okay. Ano? Ah, kung ano, first of all, the cost. Actually, the administration's drive in good governance has actually allowed us to do a lot more with a lot, lot less. Okay? 
using existing government resources to, to achieve the connectivity that we're, we're looking for. Okay. Uh, and then in terms of, uh, uh, what, what did you ask? Your status quo. Yeah, in, in terms, terms of, of the, the status, the, the iGov Philippines project, which was mentioned a while ago, will be operational by the mid, mid of next year. So, uh, meaning all the agencies in Metro Manila would be connected. Metro Manila. Metro Manila. Pero we're talking here of 70 percent of all the operations of the departments are in Metro Manila. So it is theoretically and technically 70 percent of the government would be connected by uh, mid next year. Okay. How much would it cost, sir? Do you have already mm -hmm. the numbers? It will be done. With my budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. Meron na po ba? Yes. Magkano po? Uh, for the iGov bill, it is 478 million. Dollars? Only. No, pesos. 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 No? Puro pesos lang tayo. <laughs> Sir, yung mga minensyon nyo kanina yung smarter agriculture. Uh, we are starting that. Uh, yes. Starting that. Yes. Yung tatlong yan. Okay. Yo, kam yo, kamukha ng connectivity yun. Ah. I mean, we, we can improve yield just by Power. planting during the best time to plant, when to harvest. Mm -hmm. Ano dapat ang itanim? Ano yung condition? Sobra ka enabling to. Enabling to improve productivity. Paano yun? Um, you're installing uh, sensors? Or we are starting uh, first by yung gamitin natin ng mga data. Kasi nagiging localized natin mga weather data. It's not, it's not a... Hindi na national ang forecasting. It becomes a yung local. I mean, the amount of rain in a particular place, meron tayong data for the past, let's say, two years. Even the amount of rain, every 50 minutes, alam natin yun. So, so itong data na ito will be analyzed, will be processed using Filipino din, no, ha? and uh, integrated with uh, ano dapat ang kailangan ng halaman, parang gano'n. Kasi you have to know about the plot. Di ba? Ano, ba, ano ba ang halaman is good for this kind of rain pattern. So we, we become smarter talaga in uh, our growth. May time frame po ba? When sa may realize talaga? We have started, uh, actually, in collaboration with others, no? Collaboration with others. Uh, magsisimula na next year. So, magsisimula na next year. Uh, parang pilot yun. Pilot, ganun naman talaga. We may pilot, we look at benefits, we look at the difference, why pag ginagamitin mo na smart. But definitely, mag improve talaga. Ang maganda talaga ngayon, buwababa talaga yung cost sa mga sensors, in the, in, including connectivity. Kaya kailangan na kailangan yung connectivity. Okay, about the grid, yeah, everything has started. Uh, transport, it nagsimula like, din yan. Maybe, sino ba taga Manila dito? Okay, siguro naka-experience kayo nung almost standstill, di ba? There was a time to standstill. Oo, uh, uh, traffic. So, naglalagay tayo ng mga sensors, tapos rain forecast and maybe communicate or inform the public na para bang information eh. Pag ito bumahang mga intersection na yan, it will contribute to a standstill. Huwag na lang muna kayo umalis. Diba? So these are the type of information that will be uh, possible. Okay. Okay. You need okay. to cut because um, yes. you said that's more precise.